This is literally the biggest leak I have ever seen, as most certainly the biggest leak in Apex history. You would be hard pressed to find another contained dump of information with more content than this, as based on everything we're seeing here, posted via an anonymous account onto the Apex Uncovered subreddit, which I know inherently doesn't inspire a lot of confidence in the veracity of the claims, but trust me, there's video footage, there's text files contained within, there's all sorts of things that people are digging into and finding all kinds of things. New legends, new guns, a new map, information that based on everything we're looking at appears to be the entirety of the release schedule for the next two years of Apex history. This is phenomenal if you're looking toward information, inside info on the future of the game. So let's calm down everybody, including myself, and take a look at the information that's been revealed and is still being revealed as we speak. People are still digging through the contents of this leak and finding new information. So once again, take a step back, start from the beginning and see what we know. The post in question found on the Apex Uncovered subreddit, a space specifically for leaks and data mines, came out of absolutely nowhere, posted from a throwaway account and dropping a link to a massive folder of information, including long text files and perhaps most compellingly, gameplay videos, which we'll be looking at over the course of this video. In these videos, we can see the new legends on display, most of which are so early in development, they don't even have a model, and many of them don't have unique pose animations of their own. A lot of this is clearly unfinished, legends and other content included. Most, however, do have profile pictures, but again, not all. The leaks also give the roles for all but one of the new legends and are as follows. Uplink and Newcastle, both defensive. Scryer and Vantage, both recon. Conduit, Phantom and Caliber, all support. And Jester, whose role is currently unknown. In addition to the names and roles, the leaks also give a ton of information regarding their abilities. So barring changes between now and release, which are very likely, especially now that things have leaked, we know exactly what these legends are capable of. Phantom can grapple hook onto walls and hang there, Vantage can get info on a target like shield level by zooming in on them, and Newcastle, speculated to be next in line to actually get released by virtue of having the most finished model, can move down teammates around while reviving them and create energy walls and barricades. The new map, titled Divided Moon, is also heavily unfinished, but there's enough done to tell it looks like it has a monorail of some kind going around the map, and there's already some named points of interest, like Void Town and Dry Gulch. There's also five new guns found among the code. Nemesis, an energy rifle, Scorpion, a bow, Maelstrom, a light LMG, Gemini, an energy SMG, and Fnatic, an energy pistol, plus new heirloom weapons for several existing legends, including Crypto. The amount of detail here is truly staggering, and that's just from looking at the summaries you can find in various places. Tech-savvy analysts are still breaking down what some of the leaked data means as we speak, meaning we're not even done exploring the full potential of this leak. The actual file posted onto Reddit has long since been taken down, but it's been downloaded enough times and there's really no way to keep it contained at this point, so it'll keep popping up in various places for sure, alongside extrapolations that can be gathered from the raw data. There's all kinds of posts making account of exactly what is in this. All the information covered in this video is in already quite a few places you can look at if you want the full breakdown. If I were to do a full breakdown of everything contained within this leak, the video would be half an hour long. And that's before we get into things like the implications, before we talk about how these new legends, how these new guns, how these new maps could fit into the meta, just based on the information contained within, which is again, unfinished. Even if this wasn't leaked, there's no doubt that a lot of these abilities, even the entire toolkits for certain legends might be very different from this point in time to when they're actually intended to come out. The map as well, which already has some points of interest, like I stated, but most of the map isn't even done being filled in, so the assets contained within absolutely could change and evolve over time as things are play tested, adjusted, all that. But now that things have been leaked, it's all the more likely that certain things are going to be changed or perhaps dumped entirely because they've been revealed ahead of time. While it is unfortunate that a lot of things have been spoiled, the leaks are now out there and the dev team is going to have to react to the general public knowing what this information is. And one way or another, there's no doubt going to be a lot of ramifications from this massive leak. But right now, that's all I got for you. Like I said, it would be a very long video if we went into the full details of everything that could come of this, which honestly I would like to do, but I will spare you all that long-winded ramble and turn things over to you in the comment section down below. Please drop me a comment with your thoughts and reactions to all of this. Are you baffled by the sheer magnitude of this leak? If not, I don't know how, because again, I have literally never seen a leak this big and I follow some leaks. 
That being said, I also want to know how you feel about some of the information contained within. Are there any particular contents that you're really excited for? Any bits and pieces that you really gravitate to? Personally, I'm already a Newcastle main. I am very much so looking forward to this legend, and I really, really am looking forward to seeing how the different things we are seeing now change by the time they actually make it to release. That being said, hit me up with that comment and I will hit you up with yet another video the next time there's more news. And again, based on the sheer volume of content within this, I imagine we're going to be getting bits and pieces from this, or at the very least, revelations that link back to this leak for literally months, if not years to come. So be keeping an eye on that and keep an eye on this space for more esports related news. Until then, however, that's all I've got for you. So thank you for watching once again. And as always, have yourselves a good one.